Hey guys. Today we will learn about the intersection of the solids. Whenever two or more solids combine, a definite curve is seen at their intersection. This curve is called the curve of intersection. The larger solid which we take as a reference is called the mother body and the body which penetrates the mother body is called the penetrating body. In this example, we have a cylinder as a mother body and a square prism as a penetrating one. And the penetrating body intersects the mother body at an right angle. Remember that the intersection curve for the right angle intersection would be different from the intersections at certain angles. This is an example of a right angle intersection. Initially draw the top view, front view, and side view of the objects in any angle of projection. And mark the vertices of the square prism in side view from A to D as shown below. In order to obtain the intersection curve in the front view, first project the points A to D horizontally as shown below. Now, to locate those points in the top view of the objects, first project the points vertically downwards to intersect the line inclined at 45 degrees. Then, project the thus obtained intersection point horizontally as shown below. The intersection point of the top view of the cylinder and the thus projected lines represents the points A, B, C and D as shown below. Now, project the points A to D on the top view vertically upwards as shown below. The intersection of the lines projected from point A of the side view and point A of the top view represents point A on the front view. Similarly, the intersection of the lines projected from point B of the side view and point B of the top view represents point B on the front view. We have successfully located the vertices A, B, C and D on the front view. But we still don't know whether the intersection profile is a curve or a straight line. So, for this divide the side view of the prism into further smaller divisions as shown below. In order to locate those points in the front view, first project those points horizontally as shown below. Now, to locate those points in the top view of the objects, first project the points vertically downwards to intersect the line inclined at 45 degrees. Then, project the thus obtained intersection point horizontally as shown below. The intersection point of the top view of the cylinder and the thus projected lines represents the required points on the top view. Now, project those points on the top view vertically upwards as shown below. Then, locate all the points on the front view as shown below. Since, all the required points are obtained, simply joint the points by a smooth curve to obtain the intersection curve. 